Hello guys and welcome to your 15 minutes of yoga for weight loss, strength and energy. I'm Erika if you don't know me and I'm here to guide you through a short yoga practice most days. So if you are very busy in your life then you at least have this little short time to yourself. Let's get started. Beautiful. So just come and sit onto your heels and just focus one point on the floor. We'll create this breath in and out through the nose. Integrate this breath here. So try to control the length of inhale to your exhales. Open and relax the shoulders. Draw the chin a little back here so your back of the head is really long. And start to breathe with control and awareness. Take one deep breath in and out. And again in and out. Beautiful. Just stay here, release your hands to the floor. This time we'll come onto your toes. You can take the knees just slightly apart and just come and sit onto your heels. So if it's really too intense, just stay as long as you can and come back straight away to the top of the feet. If for you it's okay to hold here, it can be intense. So just breathe the best you can. Remember that when you breathe, you bring oxygen to your physical body and it needs oxygen in order to relax and really open up here. We'll take about three more breaths. Again, controlling as you breathe out, start to create the strength into the lower abdomen. So feel the lower abdomen draw in. And then breathe in. Breathe out slowly. Come off, bring the hands in front of you and we'll just do a few cat cows. So spread the fingers nice and wide as you breathe in, drop the belly, the chest and look up. And as you breathe out, round fully chin to chest. Again inhale looking up, exhale round. Again inhale, exhale. Really working with the matching of the breath and the movement. Just keep working at your own pace here and exhale. Inhale come back to your neutral spine. And then we'll just do the same side to side. So bending to the right side, right hip, right shoulder, look over and then to the left. And then again to the right. And to the left. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Wonderful. And then come back. We'll take a melting heart posture to really open the upper body. Walk the hands forward. Keep the hips over to your knees. Keep your arms straight and long. Really pressing the hands down. Breathe and, and breathe out. Release chest, head to the ground. Keep pressing the hands on the floor so you don't want to just collapse into the elbows. We'll try to keep the arms long and energized. So we'll really stern on the armpits to the ground. Full deep breath again. As you breathe out, keep the lower abdomen draw in. And then find the lift of the pelvic floor. So we want to be active into what we call Mula Bandha in yoga. So the pelvic floor lift, perineum. And then walk the hands back as you breathe in. And then exhale, come to your downward dog. First downward dog, just move in any way that you like here. So you can bend the toes, bend the knees, gaze to the navel or gaze toward the knees and just start to feel and observe how you feel. You may feel some tightness and tension into some areas of the body so you can keep the attention to these places. Beautiful. 
and then we just stay into this downward dog and then walk the hands back toward the back of the mat and you will land with your feet parallel with the outside you can grab your elbows dangle a little bit here bend the knees if you need you want to initiate your hinge from your hips and then just allow the spine to drop wonderful we'll come to a little twist place your hand underneath the chest bend your left knee and as you exhale extend the right hand up breathe if it's really uncomfortable placing the hand down and it's not available come onto the fingertips or you can if you have a block use a yoga block here breathe and try to create more twist breathe out release the hands down replace the right hand to the left breathe in and as you breathe out find your twist again make sure you breathe constantly breathing that's the most important thing and then by keeping this concentration to your breath and the physical body then you give a little pause a little break to your thoughts which really helps to unwind distress wonderful and then release your hand down now walk the hands forward and then from this downward dog position we'll start with some vinyasa so inhale come to your high plank position pull a hold here for a few breaths staying nice and strong keep the head long beautiful push underneath the shoulders And then you can drop your knees down if you want you don't have to of course and then we'll exhale to release down to the ground now bring the top of the feet down keep your legs really long and active and hug the elbows against the body you can stay here if you want to come up to an upward dog position you can you will lift your knees and hips off the ground and look up and we'll reverse back to this downward dog position beautiful now staying into this downward dog position take your right leg up to the ceiling to your three-legged dog in any way that you like you want to flex point the foot you may want to bend at your knee just keep the gaze to the navel here and then look forward and lean to your high plank and go and touch your right knee to your right elbow drop your back knee on the floor if it's too intense here beautiful push away from the floor come back to your three-legged dog and then exhale we'll bring the knee to your chest and then we'll step the foot forward come to your high lunge position Keep your hips sinking down but keep the back leg really active here and then drop your back knee down we'll inhale extend the arms overhead keep sinking keep breathing and then exhale slowly release your hands down and then you can step back to your high plank position just like before you can drop your knees down or you can stay to your high plank exhale lower all the way or halfway to your chaturanga you choose then top of the feet down inhale look up exhale come back to your downward dog same to the other side or find your three-legged dog lifting your left leg up breathing and then exhale lean forward pull the left knee to your left elbow and then again inhale come back to your three-legged dog and then pull the knee to chest find your high lunge coming high up to the toes of the back foot and then dropping your knee down keep sinking your hips to the ground inhale extend the arms of the head breathe here
Beautiful. Take a couple of breaths more in here. And then exhale, release your hands to the floor. Step back. Again, you can come to the vinyasa that suit, coming to your high plank. You can drop the knees down to the floor or you can lower fully or halfway. Bringing the top of the feet down. Inhale. Look up. Exhale. Come back to your downward dog. Just hang in there for a few breaths. Readjust your feet. Gaze to the navel. Just observe how this downward dog feels. Wonderful. And then inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale. Go and step your foot next to the right hand on the inside. We'll come to your warrior two. So find your high lunge first, sink your hips down. Then drop your back foot to the floor, 45 degree angle. Keep your hips synced down. And inhale, come up and breathe here. Gaze forward to your front hand. Try to be really strong into this back leg as well as the front. Beautiful. Take an inhale, reach forward, and then exhale. You can either place your elbow onto your knee, one knee inside, you decide, and then extend your arm over or on top. It's always good to explore posture different ways so the body doesn't adapt and get stuck into one movement. It's really good for the joint to move in different ways. So relax the hands back down, come back to your high lunge and come back to your high plank. Lower the way that suit, knees down if you want. Inhale, look up. Exhale, back to your downward dog. Again, lifting your left leg up to your three-legged dog. And then exhale, step. Come to your high lunge position again. Find this hip sinking down, back leg strong. Then again, and drop your back foot down. And then come up to your warrior two. And then gaze forward. Beautiful. Sinking down. Keeping the arms really energized here. Fingertips long. Inhale, reach forward. Place your hand onto your knee or down to the floor on the block. And you can have your hand over or forward. And then to come off the pause, see if you can circle the arm up and back and down. So again, you move into the shoulder joint, bring some release and mobility back to your high lunge, back to your high plank. And then again, move and breathe. And exhale. Back to your downward dog. Wonderful, guys. From this position, we'll come and make our way down to the floor. Keep gazing to the navel. And then slowly come to your seat. We'll just do one little um, reverse table top in here. So you can either point the feet or you can bring your feet parallel with the outside and feet hip widths. And then we point the feet, bring your hands behind the shoulders. And then we're going to push the sternum up, drop the head back here. Before you drop the head back, try to... Draw the chin back, okay? So you place the cervical in the proper alignment. So strong legs, inhale, lift, relax the head back. Breathing fully. And then exhale, slowly lower down. Beautiful guy, that's it for today. From here, just make your way down to the floor. And then you can bring the feet upwards, 
palms facing up to the ceiling, readjust the upper back to the ground here and just breathe naturally. Each exhalation just try to relax deeper, relax the jaws, relax the back of the eyes. Beautiful, with your eyes closed, notice how you feel and just allow your mind to wander. Beautiful. We'll take a deep breath in, extending the arms of the head, and then you can just slowly roll onto your side. As always, if you have the time and you can stay longer into your Shavasana, then definitely takes the time to do so. Otherwise, that's us for today. Namaste. I thank you so much to have joined me on the mat. And as always, drop me a little comment and then um, I will see you next time. But I would love to hear more about how you felt after this sequence. Okay. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.